macro and investment outlook in Asia have become increasingly divergent. Driven by the varying COVID-19 containment efforts and vaccination rollouts of each economy in the region. In North Asia, thanks to successful COVID-19 containment, recovery remains largely on track. China's growth has largely recovered, but policy normalization and tightened macroprudential measures impact investment sentiment. Korea's and Taiwan growth are bolstered by robust export demand driven by semiconductor shortages, but the recent surge in Taiwan's COVID-19 cases is expected to dampen domestic demand activities. The growth dynamic in South and Southeast Asia, except Singapore, however, has been hindered by the continued spread of COVID-19 and delayed vaccine rollout. While U.S. Treasury bond yield and U.S. dollar have stabilized lately, risk of U.S. exceptionalism still reigns, dampening financial inflows into the region. Weaker current account balances are expected to taper support over the currencies, while a pickup in cost push inflation limits room for monetary policy maneuvering. The region remains promising upon successful COVID-19 containment, but the hurdles stay high. Therefore, in Asia, we would recommend investing in economies that see a clear recovery path out of COVID-19. These are economies with good progress in vaccination, such as Singapore, or effective containment, such as Korea. We would also recommend staying cautious in India and Southeast Asian markets for the time being until outlook on the pandemic, progress on vaccination, and U.S. exceptionalism clarify themselves. Allianz Global Investors